Hi Gemini, how are you? I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and I'm doing a different spread this week. This is the nine card spread and this is what I also use for my extensive readings. You can see them better like that, I hope. And um, I'm just taking the past, the present and the possible future. Remember, you are in your power, you hold the key to change the present and the future. When I do um, uh, an extended spread like this, or extended reading, I don't only use the vertical lines, but I use the horizontal lines, I use the cross and I use the diamond. I use the corners as well, and see to what it corresponds. And I'm also using the bottom of the deck, and I'm using the Goddess deck, the Answer of the Angels and the Inspiration cards. I thought Inspiration would be nice this week as we are in uh, lockdown and I'm not going into that any further because I don't want to jump on the bandwagon as everybody else. All I'm asking you is to stay calm and if you can help anybody around you like an elderly person or an immobile person next door or wherever in your neighborhood and you know about it then please do so remember together we stand strong we need more solidarity I've been calling sh shouting this out for quite a while now a couple of years because I'm nearly two years on YouTube so please join our cyber family by hitting the subscribe button and hitting the bell if you would like to be notified I go live Monday and Friday English language and if you can speak Dutch then you can also join me on the Wednesday. There's also new things happening, there will be new reviews. Have a look at the video uh, news and updates. It's two weeks old now but it's uh, uh, the new. some of the new things are already happening like the vlog with a real witch. What is the difference between a witch and a homeopathist or a aromatherapist? or uh, a Reiki master, what do, do they all mean? They're all alternative uh, therapies and I think a lot of you will be learning or getting informed about different therapies among other things. We are also reviewing a deck. It's all because of this deck that I did a review on, the Witch's Oracle. There are signs in, in there by Marla Brooks and uh, because of uh, the symbolic meanings of the cards uh, people said to me oh you don't want to get into witchcraft and this that and the other it all depends how you look at the cards and at a specific deck you, well that's why I say go and have a look at the vlogs of the witch and uh, you might learn something it might be to your benefit if you are a witch or if you uh, are a wizard or if you are uh, an alternate therapist. It's not only the sim symbols of the witch, it's not the incantations that the Reiki master use as affirmations for example, but also crystals. There are also crystal healers uh, like uh, I use also color crystals of color they've got energy so like you I've got a couple of crystals and my angel here that was given to me by Brenda and the crystal by my sister from the Himalayas and that is also a spiritual and sacred place so they're all entwined and connected just like we are now if you're new like uh, please subscribe and hit the bell like I asked and give us the thumbs up and share this video with family and friends and if you are a cyber angel welcome back my darling and thank you very much for your support it's nice to see you and it's awesome Gemini uh, I wanted to change the reading because uh, it, I thought oh no this is going to be difficult and depressing and all this but then I, I got the well and you've got the star so you've already got your wish coming true or your goal uh, I didn't change it not because of these two cards but I believe firmly that what comes on the table that is the correct message whether it's good or bad as well 
I don't like this column but perhaps it might change within the reading like it usually does so uh, yeah I, I'm staying true to myself and to the course of the divine this is the course that I we are led to believe that is our energy for the coming week if you like an extended reading then the information is below the uh, the video in the description box and you can also click on this white circle here and it will take you to the website and you can get uh, updates there and more information for your first uh, we are all I'm um, I'm also doing this reading with regards to the past I'm taking the past from the 1st of January 2020 till the end of March because we have already come to uh, the end of the first quarter by the end of this week see whether this uh, reading uh, weekly or uh, quarterly um, resonates with your uh, previous readings and with some of your monthly readers readings like the romance we are, have been changing from dailies, monthlies and weeklies to weeklies and romance monthlies um, if you this is just to show you what the uh, energy is around you okay so see whether it resonates we have uh, gone into spring now be, uh, because I started taping yesterday on the 21st but apparently according to the um, pagans uh, calendar the spring started on the 19th but I've always learned 21st of March and we've gone into a new star sign and that is Aries so there is action fire energy around us now and we've just come out of the uh, mercury retrograde that you might still feel because we are a mercury sign or ruled by mercury you might still feel the tail end of mercury so this is a, your first card somebody is wearing a mask perhaps you are wearing a mask perhaps you you are still not uh, feeling very um, oomph or well uh, with regards to the tail of mercury like I said and um, perhaps you are uh, uh, exposing yourself as happy and not feeling all that well uh, you're hiding that and you're pretending you're the sunshine look at the sunshine on the eye that you're seeing everything positive don't let the environment get you down and what's going on at the moment I'm not saying the big word because I'm not giving it power it's not that I'm not acknowledging it um, I'm vigilant and I'm aware of what's happening around me but I'm not feeding I'm not giving energy to uh, an, uh, a negative energy let me put it that way so you might have been wearing a mask in the past or somebody else might have okay so where were we um, then we have the bridge perhaps you had to cross many bridges to come uh, to where you are now Gemini you've been in the high road and the low road and that could be also the high bridge and the low bridge you had to choose perhaps between two bridges perhaps you've had to join two things by making a bridge perhaps you might have been a mediator for somebody that wasn't feeling very well with somebody else and was wearing a mask and you've been the bridge between two people or two things perhaps you um, had to over bridge a gap from one job to the next or from one situation to the next perhaps you've had to build a bridge in order to get your goal because your wish and your goal are in the past and perhaps you've got your goal now because the man is here as well the man is above you uh, he's uh, above your head this is above you so this is coming in or has just come in as this was your wish from the past and it is here now in the present love is in your life 
um, I do take in account this is the ace of uh, hearts I'm not doing it with all the cards but you've got three meanings as uh, the Lenormand definition my intuition the cartomacy uh, definition and the numerology now something has come to an end and coming to uh, ha has come to a new beginning uh, because this is the eight uh, ace of hearts so there is something that you are passionate about has just come in I think it could be a romance it could be a man a man that is honest a man that is masculine because we all have the masculine and the feminine side if you've been listening to me with the enchanted dream tarot then that deck is um, dedicated to the feminine side of us whether the woman or man and also to the pa the power of woman I'm sorry that was my dog Millie some of you might know Millie she is the mascot of the live session of the tea room Charlie's Angels Tarot and she's a little <laughs> a little devil sometimes but um, like I said the the, uh, the enchanted uh, uh, dream tarot you can see the deck uh, in the playlists of um, review or collaborations uh, with others and reviews on decks so uh, just to come back this man has obviously got a, a feminine side as well don't forget that but he is as absolutely masculine because he's wearing the sign of masculinity and the, ma uh, the sign of uh, Mars that's the planet of war and masculinity and the um, knight let me put it that way the fighter the warrior okay strong but this man this is the extended deck this man has got a bare chest so it's definitely a man that's focused on what he wants and he's open and honest about it he doesn't have any secrets he is on the right path and so are you because this is my querent card you have your um, you've got you've got something in your mind and you want it and this is pointing to the north node and that's where you're going to okay you're on the right path you've been navigating okay look at this if I was reading this in an extended um, uh, reading then I would take this line because uh, stars were used for navigation and uh, this is two things navigating okay um, and you most probably were navigating to a precise point um, uh, a little bit of luck because the star is wish um, and a goal that is also luck when your wish is coming true and the bear is also luck but there could be somebody that is jealous around you and the bear can defend and protect himself and what is dear to him so uh, what would be dear to you is your wish do you see the line how I would take uh, pull that line to the forefront and uh, get the message from there there's definitely a new beginning and endings and you do have your balance um, there might be somebody even coming back from the past uh, this is what I also see in this line it could be a man uh, as we are talking about a man but I'm not going into the different lines but this is just an example so there again if you would like an extended reading and get more information just from nine cards I can't sit here for 45 minutes to or 30 minutes to 60 minutes because I can get so much information from just one spread but just staying in this line you are you have your mind set on a particular road on a particular path and you are following it you're navigating towards it um, you're using everything within you your uh, masculine side if you're not meeting a man or uh, have just started something with a man um, you are being more businesslike and you will take a gamble some men take gambles and in business but you don't 
mind to take a gamble in business. This is how I'm reading it. The masculine side is steadfastness, masculinity, business, uh, the breadwinner, uh, powerful, uh, ready to take on a challenge more so than a woman so you will be able to you do dare to take on this cha uh, challenge and you know that the universe has your back i'm not going to say why but i can see that so you can take this gamble and um not that i'm uh, proclaiming that the angels um say it's okay to to gamble but there's different ways of taking gamble a gamble is taking a risk okay uh, you're taking a risk on perhaps taking a man on in, t in your life in a love relationship or a business relationship this is uh, this is working together trusting each other that is what I will say uh, condone that's the word I was looking for. The angels will condone this because you are showing faith, trust uh, and working together and through that you stand strong and stronger. You're being more businesslike and manly, Gemini, whether you're a woman or a man. Anyway, you are leaving the past behind and you are harvesting. You have harvested knowledge from the past and also life experience. Perhaps that's why you are made now. You are more businesslike and this is what you're taking with you on your new path. Um, also, with this business, I would say you um, you will be harvesting not only knowledge or life experience, but it could also be material wealth because you are taking risks. There might be disagreements, but they're short-lived because the sun is already breaking through. There might be somebody jealous of you because they might have thought, no, 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 she can't do it or they can't do it, he can't do it. Uh, and that's why uh, they didn't believe that you could do it but you um, have learned from the past and you are harvesting that knowledge and you uh, recognize when you can take a gamble because you're a business like a man you have really gone into it and find out all the information that you need you might even get help from an institution. This could be a, a tax office, so there could be a tax rebate. There could be a, a grant to start up your own business uh, because, uh, let's say, there might be a, a trust that supports because you might be a, a carer or a social worker and you want to start up your own business. So there might be a grant because you're helping the immobile or the infirm or the handicap and uh, perhaps you might be starting a transport business I don't know why it's coming in but that is what um, is coming in uh, some kind of transport putting uh, bringing the kids to school and um, <coughs> handicapped kids something that was not thought of before okay uh, I'm getting the institutions are interested in you that is what I'm also uh, hearing Gemini you protect what you love and what where your faith is and you where your passion is that is what you do you can sell ice cubes to Eskimos okay so luck is on your side this will be uh, a, a fruitful business it will bear its fruit and it will bear fruit quicker than you think because you are strong you look at this you've got two strength cards the man the the the, the sign of Mars war strength we always think of men as strong determined steadfast like the bear when the bear stands on his four feet nobody dares to come close to him because of his fears nails and teeth and because of his weight his ginormous gigantic uh, exposure like here I am self-assured again a ma masculine aspect 
now at the end of the deck you've got the wish and I did say you will succeed because you've take you've learned from the past you've got all the information the well is actually the card you can do wish but you need to dig deeper to get really um, all the information uh, you need to make your wish come true okay this is really a down-to-earth reading I can't whew, this is really strong not because I'm a Gemini but this is uh, this is really a strong down-to-earth reading this is no no floating uh, if but or maybe this is what whatever you're busy with it will turn out right so long you get the right information and discuss things it doesn't matter if there are disagreements take it Gemini take the disagreement and use the comments from this disagreement and sieve it like if somebody says yes but you failed in the past then sh say okay fine you are right um, just wait and see just wait and see because I will get there I will succeed um, I'm following the right path I do get advice from uh, professionals a professional man a doctor a bookkeeper uh, in somebody from institutions look at that so you are doing the right thing and you are showing the people that are saying no you can't do it you've been a failure before blah 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 okay you are going to show that you've harvested you've gained the knowledge and the life experience in order to make this business a success definitely your wish is lying here twice and you can take the gamble okay it's a different gamble than in the past most probably because you've learned from your lessons now from the um, goddess cards we've got name uh, name Dona a uh, holy place a holy place okay there is a make a place even if it is a shelf in the bedroom or a shelf in the sitting room make that your space put a photo of your mum or a, some a loved one or a pet that you miss make that a sacred place your little place burn a candle put a rose on the date of uh, their birthday or whatever make a little place your sacred place make yourself an altar and visit the sacred place from time to time and make co uh, contact with that person or the goddess that is what it says in Dutch so visit this sacred place uh, from time to time and make contact with the goddess or with the universe or with the person that is sacred to you could be a mum could be a dad could be an aunt could be an uncle could be a pet could be uh, even a grandfather or grandmother if you're a young person and trust that they are there with you they can see you they can they believe in you and they will send support and positive energy and above all trust yourself the card from the inspirational card is create that vision now what I'm getting from this card is create that vision you've been building you've been building or you might be standing on top of the cliff and looking down and what I mean by looking down is not only by if you are literally standing on a cliff that you're looking down and remembering the beautiful fish vision or view that you have from there but you've been building up and up and up okay you have ha you've had aspirations to get up higher ambitious so you are there at the moment if you want to start a business or anything new and people don't believe you you've been building up to this wish to this point 
to get things done. You've got a bird's eye perspective. That is what you're busy with. Even if you don't know what you should be doing or what your mission is, you need to practice creating that vision. Anyway, remind yourself that before long, the all-creating source will bring you your vision into your physical life in ways greater than you could have imagined. So, vision, visualize. This is a way of incantation that I started this video with. Affirmation, visualization, manifestation, and actually, if you cannot uh, visualize, uh, or do visualizations or meditation make that sacred place and put your wish if you've got a picture of uh, your uh, like a visionary board I s usually say make a visionary board and put it in a place that you pass several times a day every time you pass look at your dream look at your wish look at your vision and say goddess divine um, Source, God, whatever you wish to call it, universe, cosmos, please can I, may I have my dream with your help, help me to manifest it, help me to visualize it, confirm what you're wishing. Beautiful, beautiful reading. Okay, and trust that it will come to you, if you believe in it strong enough, it will come. My mum used to say, thoughts are power. And in Dutch, it, is, it means the same thing, but it, gedachte geven kracht. Thoughts give power. Power to manifesting. Such an old-fashioned saying, and yet so true. Especially nowadays, they put it all in uh, uh, freely bits and 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 Wow, it's new, but it is a very old way of thinking. Okay, just think of the Buddhists. They do manifestations and visualizations, and they bring into life what they wish. Uh, the Egyptians have done it. The witches do it. Uh, incantations. There you go. That is two, uh, one, one and the same thing, but yet from a different way of life. So perhaps it's worthwhile for you to look at the witches interview or collaboration on the Wednesdays. I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Take care Gemini and be blessed. Please share and like this video and remember together we send strong. So if you know of somebody that needs a little hand or a listening ear then please help them. Thank you. See you in the life. Ciao, ciao.